Hello there! Welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Vienna, Virginia of Fantastic Stars Beads. Welcome. It's a place for inspiration, motivation, and whatever is rocking through our door. How is everyone doing on a fabulous Tuesday? It's gorgeous weather here in Northern Virginia. I'm, I'm playing with this little man here today, and we're sorry for our super delay. I've just been losing track of time. You know, like when you're sitting down and you get to beating and you kind of get zoned out because you're you're beating, right? Well, that totally happened to me this morning uh, before I got in. And so that just kind of dominated into the whole rest of my day. And, um, and so <laughs> here, but we're here and I love that. Facebook gives you a notification saying, hey, ding, ding, she's on. <laughs> so welcome, you guys. If you guys are new to the show, um, please say hello. Let me know where you guys are coming in from. I always love to hear from you. This is made for you. So we want you guys to be engaged, like what you're seeing. And if you have any questions, you can stop me right in the feed. Yesterday, we went into uh, our surprise was going into the uh, consignment shop on their $5 table sale. And... Uh, Got some rocking deals for some people. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So let, let me... Uh, I haven't seen this before. No, you haven't seen that before. So let me say hi to a few of you guys. Um, hello, Miss Shannon. Hey, Mary. Hi, Debbie and Patty and Elena. Patty, I'm working on getting your package out to you, okay? And we've got... Um, what you doing? You fine on my table? <laughs> All right. So, hello everybody. Welcome. Oh, so. Hey, I'm trying to get down. Okay, you go okay. Boys are so crazy. I love hearing that so many of you guys have uh, boys at home. So you guys get a little bit of understanding of, oh my gosh, like school's about to start in just, I mean, in just a couple weeks here and uh, getting a little anxious on knowing what to expect and uh, how much work I'm going to need to be doing while he's sitting, I guess, watching his teacher. So seems 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 a little crazy right now and um, preparing. But luckily, I've just got a, a couple couple more weeks before I've got to buckle down and figure out. Luckily for me, only first grade. <laughs> All right. So today, oh yeah, you can match with it. So yesterday we were messing around. We match had Jonas Jonas picks and uh, it those went match with it. Yeah, mess with it. Oh. You said match with it. Oh, maybe I did. I'm trying to listen to you and I'm trying to be online. <laughs> All right. We had Jonah's picks, actually. Those ones were a hot hit. We had someone uh, roll through here today and uh, grab that stash. Okay. Yeah. He's leaving. Very good. And I wanted to, we were messing around with Raku beads. And you know what? I was talking about making earrings uh, yesterday and... I was going to make two, but I thought I'd make a, a second pair, but different today. So we're going to ma uh, mess around with these uh, Raku square dells again today. And I also got a box in of some more glass so we can play with some more of those beautiful ammonites. So I don't know if you guys, um, where's my tray of ammonites? Well, it doesn't matter because we've got new ones. So if you get... Can we please stop doing that to my board, sweet pea? I, I don't I don't like you doing that. Can you go please do it to a cardboard box up there and not to my display board? Thank you. You can do it to this cardboard or a piece of cardboard up there. Here. You like this? Yeah. There, you can use that. <laughs> Alright. So I just got this box in. So Donna, if you're out there, your box did get here. It looks like it was running a little bit late, but we know how much we love glass, right? You guys want to, you guys want to take a look? Let's see what's in this box here. Whoa, live box opening, you guys. We always like seeing what's in my live boxes, and I'm hoping we've got some more of those. Um, ooh, that's a good color. Oh, because you know that was that was a hot color. I asked her for more of these ones. So these ones are. Um, handmade glass so if you are are new to seeing these uh we highlighted a few of these uh on friday night live and we're 
getting a whole bunch more in. So you can see, oh, look at that gorgeous pink color. Beautiful reds, so many good colors. I got a whole box of them. So we're in, we've got some more beads. We're gonna mess with those. So <laughs> it is sawdust. Who loves some color? Show me some love for some glass, you guys. Cause that's what we're celebrating this. Uh... Oh my gosh, I love these. Look at those. I'm making sawdust. You're making sawdust. I guess we're gonna have to vacuum again, love. Oh my gosh, look at those guys. Those are super fabulous. You can see the how big they are, how bold they are. You guys can claim this uh, early, but um, these ones, it looks like they're running $90, but they're jumbo. Okay, so remember we saw the big ammonites here? We can see how big these beads are. And it's totally fine because you get three beautiful beads. These are done with fine silver on the edging. Oh, yummy, yummy. All right, that, that was just like, like a little, little peek of what we, we had here. Oh, I'm, I'm just loving that. Oh, there, there's another fun, fun one. But you know how much I love my blues and teals. There's a pair. <laughs> I see that you're working. Oh. All right, guys. So get excited for Friday. We'll, we'll, we'll be having some fun, fun glass showing. Ooh, I like the gold on that. That's a great green. All right, fun, fun. But I'm still playing with Raku here because I want to make up some earrings. So this was part of Jonah's stash here. So what do you guys think? I was uh, messing around with wire. You know, I, I, I love wire a lot. So I was thinking about just making a component out of, we had this chain. You're making a whole lot of sawdust, huh? Yep, look. I might need a new piece. A new piece, okay. So now I'm looking at my copper charms. So one of the fun things about the show is we just kind of, um, we, we make together. So I was thinking maybe we could add a little char charm to the bottom of it um, for a, another sweet pair of earrings. Okay, because I'm messing around uh, playing so that we can get another fun pair of earrings. Ooh, we like this right here. And the earrings that we probably make today, you guys. So that kind of re reminds me of that chain, right? That we were messing with. Kind of similar in style. But what do we think about that on the bottom of an earring right here? Or do you think we should put just a little, little dangle? Or what about a, a you know, I kind of like these sticks too. You know, they're kind of cuby. Oh man, I think I found it. I think we're going for some sweet and simple sticks today. Design time. And I love always seeing what you guys are designing. So the ways that I encourage you guys to be posting your creations is that I give away stuff every single week. So in order to, to win, all you gotta do is post. Go onto the Star Seas page and, and post up a design. Okay, anything that you might have been inspired by Be With Me. Do you think we should do some potato chips in that, you guys? We like the sticks, huh? All right, let's see what's going to come out of this. See what I'm doing? <laughs> we want to see what you're doing? Jonah wants to know if we want to see what his project is. You want to, are you finished with it? Do you want to show it off? Yeah. Okay, you guys, we're going to, I'm getting some wire, okay? I'm getting some round nose pliers, some cutters, and chain nails, okay? So. You can get those pliers out, get some beads out, and let's play around. So I think we're going to make a little link here. So I'm gonna cut about, eh, let's do about 
six inches of wire. So we're gonna make a little loop on the end so that we can attach this piece. So when we're looking at this, I, we wanna look at how thick that is. So when I make the loop, we wanna make sure that it is big enough that it can have some movement in there. Okay, so let's test this out and see what that looks like along. But at the same time, we also don't want it too large, right? To be like in your face. So let's take a look. Yeah, it looks a little big to me. So let's make that a little smaller and see it can still do a little swinging. It doesn't really have to swing too much, but I'm gonna just make that a little smidgen smaller. Like that, can we see that? Okay, and then I was just showing Jonah how to do a wrap I yesterday. I meant, to, I meant to bring it, I wanted to show it to you guys. Oh. I did that with that. Oh, you saw that right out of that cardboard box, huh? Okay, and then I'm gonna just do a little bit of a wrap there. So that's the, we were holding, holding the head of the guy. Okay, and then we were holding him right at his neck, and I was telling Jonah that he needs to wrap the scarf around the little man's neck. Okay, and that will get you a nice little uh, wrap, but then you got to always tuck in that little tail. Okay, and now I see a lot of sawdust down there. All right, now let's let's put some beads on, and we can play around. You know we how much we like these potato chip beads. I'm shooting out some pictures to you guys, or we'll walk over to them and show you some. And then we're gonna need another opinion. How many are we gonna need on this one? Huh? How about three? Three on this one? Ooh, that's looking pretty nice. I like this square doll. What do we think? Two, three? I'm thinking about a hook this time too. So I have the hooks that I'm wearing in my ears that I like and uh, thinking kind of long. So nice because so simple, you know. You get nice components, you can only make nice jewelry. Do we think three or do we think two? Or one, we could do one. One looks pretty good. One, I'm getting tired of two, doing all this. that's hard work you're doing, or three. I love it. You guys like big and bold like I do. Yeah, odd number. It has to either be one or three, huh? I, I agree. You know what? I think I'm going to go for... Hmm. So this is, I'm just seeing how far my Raku beads can go. So yesterday we made, you know, a pair, pair of earrings with two. Um, but you can really see how far they end up going. So if we use all three, that would be a strand of the square dolls. And if you guys still want some of the Raku beads, you can still order them, okay? You can check out last uh, Friday Night Live and you can still order uh, direct from that. Also, if you don't see uh, something there, you can actually go to zazbead.com and check out with Stars Beads promo code and you'll get 10% off. That easy. I'm all done. Alright, thank you. That was some. There's three. Alright, so if you want some more of these uh, beads and you feel like you missed out, don't worry. Okay, you guys can get it and, and still get a rockin' deal on them. Okay? Just tell our stars beads is uh, the, the magic password code here. All right, we're doing three. And wrapping this little wire here. And you do want to be careful because the Raku glaze is, uh, it is a glaze, so you can accidentally chip it. All right, and I have this hook here, I think, that I want to use. See what you guys think about that. So 
always fun designing with you guys. You know, just like sitting around playing at home and saying, hmm, this is, uh, this is what we have in my box today. Or I just went to stars. All right, so we like that. Uh-oh, you know what? I wonder if I don't have enough potato chip beans. <laughs> All right, I had to grab the tray here because I think I used all the ones that I had loose. So we have, all right, luckily for me, I have this exact size, you guys. So for those that are wanting the potato chip beads here, I have these copper ones. So if you like this size, Alright, so if you guys like this, let me measure the thickness, but I think that this is like a 10, 10 millimeter. This is a 10 millimeter and these run $11 and they're like 4 inches on, on the strand. Okay, then we have some smaller ones. Let's see. I've got some smaller ones here. So let me show you some different sizes we can have of those potato chips because I know we've been having um, several requests for them. I've got to open up a strand anyway here. And I have several of the one that we're discussing here. So if you guys uh, like some of these potato chips, you can claim them. We're going to do uh, copper. Let's see. I'm going to show you what I have in them as I work on another set of ear, uh, another set of the earrings. So in in the one side, in the eight, 10 millimeter size, we have all three colors. Okay. Um, I don't have that. That's the only silver I have is that size. Oh no, I have one of this other, one size smaller, right now. Okay. So it looks like we have. Let me get that in the right same order so it's easier to see. All right, so here's a 10, 10 millimeter. This is probably an eight millimeter. Okay, let's take a lot of space here. Let me see if I can make that a little easier. All right, Pam, you have to let me know what size you wanted those uh, copper, copper ones, probably same size as this. And then um, let me just stick to those sizes. I have a couple other random sizes, you guys, but I'm not gonna confuse that whole whole thing. So I've got two sizes here in three colors, gold, silver, and copper, and having them in the, even though it sounds sounds big in that 10 millimeter size, I, I, I like that size. All right, so here we got, we got some more here. All right, so if you like those, just say, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the pricing. Eleven, eleven dollars for the one size, nine for the other. I think it's the same pricing. Okay. And you get a lot on there. So like, look, I just took those off of of this, and you know that was just a little bit of the strand. Okay. So these are going to go a long, a long way. But we love them so much, so you know it's like how much you use a spacer, right? Okay. So now you have the choices because I know you guys have asked for some of the potato chips. And now I have enough for the other earring that we're trying to do here. All right, grabbing a little bit of a six foot wire round nose plier. And I'm working on the bottom first here. So we're gonna slide this guy on. The gold is not a, a matte gold, but I wouldn't say that it's super, super shiny. I don't know if I can show you. I mean, I guess it looks shiny on the side there, but no, it's not a matte gold. All right. I love the potato chips. I think we somebody called them Pringles last last week. 
or earlier this week. My days are just a moving. All right, I'm just kind of testing out the, the circle here. My wire looks a little crazy, but that's the beauty of wire. I tell you, it's, it's still forgiving. The, the most important thing when working with wire is just really holding as close to the point that of right to stick close to right where you're working. Okay, because if, you, if you're pushing and pulling from out here, okay, then it bends right where you're holding, not where you're really hoping for it to, to do that for you. So let's see. All right. And Patty, I'm hoping I can slip every, everything in uh, to this box still. Okay, so you'll, you'll be hearing a bling from me here very, very soon. All right, I'm trying to flatten because I think my uh, my loop got a little squiggly. All right, and we said three potato or three squared L's and some yeah. potato chips. Ooh, that's gonna look really good. We'll put these on today too. We've got this. Oh, I'm liking this. I don't know. Sometimes when I like them, hard for me to give them away. You see, I wear a lot of the jewelry. Uh, I end up making. Yeah, we got you, Bosma, and I should be able to stick that in with your pearls, okay? I hadn't forgotten about that either. Alright Barbara, I got I I'm seeing yours too. Yeah, I said the large pam was the ten millimeter, the smaller one is an eight millimeter. And then I have it in all three colors. And you know I actually like I like mixing all the colors too. Ear wire. I don't even know if I took it out. Okay, and then remember when we're opening and closing those rings. Okay, we want to open from uh, front. Oh, too many things for it to focus on here. But remember, we're opening from front to back. Okay, we don't want to open uh, this way. Okay, you always want to open from. Always want to open from front to back, up and down, not out this way. Okay, you want to always go from down or up when you're opening your rings. Okay, boom, here we go. Looking good, you guys. We got ourselves another pair of earrings. Let's see. And I don't know. I might have put. The, I should have maybe put that on another ring. We're gonna see how those flow, huh? Let's see what they look like on. I've been wearing all sorts of different earrings today. I've been changing them in and out. Okay, so the, here's today's earrings. Ooh, I like those. What do we think? All right. Give me, give me a like. Give me some hearts if you like that design, you guys. Who wants to win a pair? You know you want to win a pair. So get to posting, you guys. All you got to do is post up a creation. All right, here's was yesterday's earring, okay? So remember, we made that cool little little earring post. So this will be yesterday's. All right, so those are the, the pairs of earrings. 
So catch me this Friday night and we're going to be giving these babies away. All right. It's going to be all giveaways with Raku and then it's all glass. I like those. Now it's hard to choose, right? Either way, you need to get some of those Raku beads. Okay. All right. Awesome, you guys. Now back to more beading. <laughs> Maybe I'll get zoned out again. And uh, I was I was going on an earring craze. So I guess that's why I'm making so many different earrings. I wire so always messing around play, playing with wire so i'll probably do some more and don't forget you guys tomorrow is what's on your wrist wednesday okay what happens on wednesday is i want to see what's on your wrist okay that's an easy entry for your uh chance to win some of the earrings too okay so what happens is is i'll throw up a post on uh what's on your wrist i'll show you show you a wrist my wrist whatever is popping so here's what i was wearing today just if you want to check it out and i want to see your post of what you're wearing so remember i got that daggered bracelet from next door shop so if you missed uh hopping over for the five dollar uh, table sale at the consignment shop you can check okay and then you know how much i love my beaded bangles oh and speaking of those beaded bangles want to get your own um i've hooked up with beadgoeson.com too and this month we upped the game so we're giving you 15 percent off of all your orders just have to use stars beads in the promo code okay if you have questions about those that are in our star network um to get some of these deals and discounts you can check starsbeads.com and there will be a link that says the star network and it'll list uh some of those those deals and discounts that are happening with our uh, friends in the industry. All right. Fabulous. What an awesome Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me, even though it was running a little bit late, but we still made it. We still had fun, right? We got a live box opening. We made some awesome Raku earrings, showed off a, a brand new necklace of mine, you guys. So this is uh, one of my latest and greatest from... Uh, fabulous woman uh, named Nicole so I've got a gorgeous new piece if you want something like it you can have it too you just uh, send me a DM all right so that's kind of the make it portion and then if you guys have questions or want to see something um, you can either shoot over a DM or um, ask it right live okay what's the silvery one on the middle let me make sure I'm answering questions uh, silvery one in the middle are we talking about my necklace? Oh, my bracelet. So, uh, Barb, uh, let's see. Barb, that was a bracelet that I bought next door from, um, from Lisa Norris. I'll show it to you a little closer. The silvery one in the middle looks like this. So we can check it out. There's the base and then it's st stood up with daggers. Kind of a glam and edge.